Welcome back everybody to the second episode of the fourth season with FC Nuremberg, third season in the Bundesliga and well after last season, last episode's disappointing one the loss against Dortmund, late late goal, we've come back and we won 1-0 against Köln. This was actually a weird game day, I'm going to show it you. Um, nobody scored there, I ignored that, that was a later kickoff. I only saw these games and it was 4-0-0, so we scored the only game of the 3.30 Saturday kickoff. Uh, and that win has seen us go into third into what is so far an insignificant um, table. Any other transfers since last time? I don't think so. Uh, I'm currently signing. There's a player I'm currently in the verge of signing, which is Rudolfo. Oh, transfers. Uh, here we are. This guy, he looks very good. Lacks determination. Also has a couple of other issues. If we look at him, he's not very ambitious. Low determination. Um, injuries, all that. But he's only going to be 750,000. So dirt cheap and I'll be able to sell him for about 10 million looking at his ability so yeah uh, I'm excited to get him in loan him out and then sell him in a few seasons a good way of making money the team for today's game I've just found out Lindsay Rose is actually banned for the first match against Barcelona which is great our best centre back banned but this is a team I've gone for the more attacking 4-3-3 in terms of well just all around more attacking with Stokovic, Hayden, Young Ho and Leibold making up the back four, Hayden coming in for Lindsay Rose, Lindsay Rose in that centre back position, uh, Wild Smith in goal with Eras being the defensive midfielder coming back from injury first game back, Andre Martins and Gommel are the two more creative attacking midfielders, Ekoko getting a call up ahead of Ben uh, Belhanda with Insigne on the left flank and Lanzana, uh, Tennessee actually got a four month injury four week injury even my bad he's a four week injury it's only two weeks left so yeah I, I, I misproportioned that but yeah hopefully we can get a win well no no <laughs> not even gonna try let's have a look at this past team actually I'll show you the team when we get into it and here's the team we're up against today two Suarez's Neymar Messi Sergio Busquets even Rakitic Vermalen PK PQ oh, not PK oh PK um Malo Alba and Tischdegen, what a starting eleven! Any of those players easily outmatches anybody in our side. We've got 18-year-old who's just come in for the youth. Let's have a look at them. Just go through the players here. Hugo Malo, look at that. He is brilliant. And that's just these are the weaker teams, the weaker players. Not the fastest of back line. Hopefully we can take advantage of that. Um, Jordi Alba, oh so fast. Jordi Alba looks so good. That's okay. Okay, those twenties though. So many twenties. Ivan Rakitic, so technically gifted. Let's look at Busquets, defensive beast. Look at and the mentals on him are insane. Neymar, I, d I don't even want to know. All those 17s, 18s, tonight. Oh, Denis Suarez, youngster, probably the weak link in this side, but look at all those stats. He'd easily become a key player on my side. And up front, Luis Suarez, again, 17s, 18s, 16s, 19s, all round. What a squad we're up against today. And we have kickoff. Let's just have a look. It's Enzana versus Suarez. Yeah, that's, that's a fair competition if I ever saw one. Barcelona passing it back to their defence, up to Sergio Busquets. Busquets going to get the ball back to Vermaelen. Yeah, and that's it for the first highlight. First highlight of the game going Barcelona's way for Marlon, forward to Messi, but cut out by Martins. Insigne, on loan from Napoli, gets the ball into Martins. Martin shoots to Stegen, saves. The first chance of the game actually going our way impressively within six minutes, but Messi on the ball now. Hugo Malo with a chance to get the ball back up. And Suarez is through. He's broken any attempt at an offside draft. Hayden with a beautiful catch up to tackle him there. Hayden, 13 acceleration, 14 pace. Unfortunately, Zana can't get the end of the ball by um, Insigne. And Stuckiewicz has been done by Neymar. Neymar ba bursting forward. He's got Suarez as an option. Gets the ball in. Suarez in the six yard box. Both shots. Thankfully, first one safe, second one hits the side netting. And we're let off the hook. Barcelona of attack forward to Messi. Messi in the box, working his magic to Suarez, to Piku. Piku's got two Suarez's. Back to Rakitic, who picks up Suarez to Messi. Messi's in the box. It's a penalty. Not even 20 minutes in, and they've got a penalty. I mean, can we at least not let them score from open play? Come on, Wild Smith, prove your worth from Sheffield Wednesday. Oh, he can't save a Messi goal. 1 0. Messi runs up. Beautiful, left footed. Keeper nearly got there to be fair to Wild Smith, but at the end of the day, 1 0 Barcelona. We've got a counter now. Martins out wide to Leibolt. Leibolt to Insigne. Insigne in the box. Can you get a ball in? Shoots to Stegen saves. Really should have picked the other option and passed. So, nothing else has happened in the first half. It's been very disappointing overall. So, I'm going to ask them to be better. Barcelona have obviously dominated, but 
we'll try and get them motivated, get them fired up, and hopefully we can get a couple of chances we can put away and get a lead here. Uh, not a lead, get back into a draw. So yeah, obviously Barcelona's still winning 1-0, second half. Hopefully we can get something. This is just the opening highlight. It's going to end. Stokovic, Okoko. I'm going to get my hopes up once we attack, and there it is, over. So Okoko's come off for Belhanda, and I've moved to a more narrow 4-3-3 formation in the hope of... Well, catching Barcelona out in Signy with free kick. It's in! It's in! One all! Nuremberg, get in! Oh, we're, we're going to draw. We're going to draw against Barcelona. We're not. We're going to lose, I know. But we're drawing. This is beautiful. In Signy. Let's have a look. This is what we got in him for. The guy from Napoli. Beautiful. Over the top corner of the cross. Of, 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 the, of the wall. Beautiful goal, that. My 3D highlight seems a bit weird recently. With no more highlights, we're actually into, what, the 75th minute, and Dennis Suarez has just got a, some sort of injury, so he's at 49% condition, which is really poor. Messi's at 60, so despite them performing amazingly, really dominating, we have so far managed to hold on to a draw. And, well, thanks to Insigne's beautiful free kick, we are, well, we're drawing, which is an amazing achievement. I'm really proud of the team at the moment. Gomel, Belanda, Ford Insigne, Enzana, Enzana, to be the hero. He's got it over. Oh, Enzana, the what, eighteen, nineteen year old, eighteen year old, young, young kid from from nearby, through the youth academy, not signed from anyone. Neymar Junior in the box, shoots, saved by Wildsmith from Sheffield Wednesday, Wednesday, from Sheffield Wednesday. Two completely contrasting players in terms of ones, obviously signed from a completely foreign company, con company, country, another one through our youth academy. Enzana not having the best of games, but. Hopefully he can get something out of somewhere, playing as a poacher today. Uh-oh, Messi's through. Even with his poor condition, he's still got so much pace to burn. Out wide to Carlos Vela, Carlos Vela. Young Suk Young tackles, Young Suk Young on for Leibold, who's on a 6.7 and had a yellow card, didn't want to risk him. Enzana, Enzana's through, Enzana! Oh, Enzana, you really should score stuff like that. I'm actually going to take him off, I think, just because of those two perform those two shots, and full crew is going to get the last few minutes. Hopefully he can he can do something here in these last dying seconds of the game. Martins intercepts here. Inter centre to Gomelt. Gomelt the young forward. Enzana. Oh, yeah, another chance missed and he's going to come off definitely. I mean, I, I don't think I can cancel it. One annoying thing in FM is where if you do a change like this, if Enzana were to score then I'd try and cancel it, but it would already have been confirmed and he'd go off and be upset at being subbed despite scoring and all that. Neymar Jr. in the box. Is he going to get the ball across? He shoots. No, yeah, he did shoot, and it's a goal kick, thankfully. We managed to ease the pressure away from us away into it. Three minutes left, plus stoppage time. Young took Young on this left flank. Insigne. Insigne into the box. Full creek, full creek! Oh, saved on the line by Tushdegen. Beautiful save by the goalkeeper. Unfortunately, we can't win at the dying seconds. Andre Martins into Insigne to Gomel. Gomel shoots! It's blocked by Javi Martinez, the signing, only just signed for Barcelona, actually, in this window. Insigne with the corner, whips it in. Hung Shuk Yo can't get in the goal, with some beautiful lace chances, so we can almost feel upset with only getting a point from this game. Obviously, we can't, because it's the, the might of Barcelona. Andre Martins, dying seconds. Hung Shuk Young nearly scored. Hung Ho, I can't even pronounce his name. I mean, I never can, but, oh, this is, we we've had so many late, brilliant chances. I mean, it doesn't detract from Barcelona's general dominance. Oh, Yun Suk Young, Insigne, can we get a late, late goal here? Two and a half minutes, Full Creek, Eras, Eras can't get there, poor pass by Full Creek, and they have a chance to counter Messi on the ball, plenty of space with his magic. All over to Neymar Jr., talking about magic, to Hugo Malo, Hugo Malo into Neymar, Neymar with space to burn, Wildsmith out, brilliant save by the keeper, the Englishman, out for a corner, Neymar to take the corner, whips it in, PQ. Wildsmith saves, beautiful save, Mal Wildsmith, thank you for saving my bacon again. We've got one and a half minutes now, Full Creek, headers down to Insigne, Insigne, Full Creek didn't read that properly, unfortunately. Now, Barcelona with another attack, Neymar, Rakitic, they've shown us, they've shown up now in the last few minutes, stopped us getting all our beautiful chances that were giving me hope, and are dominating again, with what, one minute, ten seconds left, Vela bursts into the box. Stokovic tackles, beautiful tackle, forward, that was a poor clearance by Stokovic, really should be aiming for the centre of the park with his players, especially with a narrow formation, Alba, 
Alba passing into Xavi Martinez out to Hugo Malo. Hugo Malo pass to ne Neymar. Neymar across the field to Vela. Vela's got plenty of space, but he's going to pass it back. I think. Oh no, he's passed his man. He's going to get a ball into the box. Thankfully, it's it's put behind by Stokovic, but they've got a last chance here. Corner. Ten seconds left in the match. Neymar Junior cleared by Hayden Gomel and we've got a well-earned point against Barcelona and what ended up not being that much of a dominant display for them yeah they they were definitely the better side but they weren't absolutely destroying us which is good um, I'm gonna say I'm far from pleased it might have been the wrong thing but no it got the reaction I wanted it got them motivated maybe should have said well done but I like a motivated team and that's put our push to getting into Europa League very it's put in a good venue and yeah 500,000 beautiful result and I'll see you guys, I, I think I'll do a, actually no, that'll be it for this episode, I've decided Salzburg isn't that important a game, and what I'll do is the next episode will be a double header against Porto, and I'll also like show you how results went but up until then, so thank you ever so much for watching, hope you enjoyed the episode, and goodbye.